policymakers want to know whether and how to support dealers selling plug-in vehicles. Our research first addressed whether retailers need support. It then considered how dealers might be supported. We conducted extensive interviews with dealers, automakers, and other stakeholders. We also examined customer survey data on retail satisfaction with dealers from J.D. Power & Associates. It turns out plug-in buyers are much less satisfied with dealers than conventional car buyers. But before casting judgment, it's important to recognize that plug-ins are unlike any vehicle sold before. They entail changes in customer behavior and require new support infrastructure on which the customer depends. This introduces a high degree of uncertainty into the purchase decision. Where do I charge? How much will I save? Customers look to the dealer to be the expert, and when they don't have the answers, they may forego the technology altogether. For this reason, we should treat PEVs as high-tech products like smartphones and tablets. And high-tech products require different introduction strategies. In the early market, the emphasis is on creating demand and discovering the end-to-end -end needs of customers to ensure these can be supported before selling into the mainstream market. Dealers are not at all optimized for these tasks, so robust support is needed. Our findings point to a dual-path strategy for policy. The first involves greater accommodations for alternative retail approaches that are key to reaching early customers and discovering and supporting their end-to-end -end needs. One way is to relax restrictions, even if on a limited basis, on ownership of showrooms by manufacturers or on the setting of reasonable criteria for dealer participation in the sales of plug-ins. The second path is to align policy with retail practices to deburden dealers and incent them while lowering entry barriers to selling plug-in vehicles. For example, we found that once dealers were afforded the opportunity to obtain HOV lane decals in advance, they actively marketed that benefit to customers. Allowing the dealer to similarly reserve customer rebates could encourage the active marketing of this benefit as well. Lowering the upfront cost and burdens to dealers and supporting them with retail-friendly tools and resources could encourage more dealers to opt in and improve the customer experience to grow the market for plug-in electric vehicles.